I like. Here is tired of having so many hair tools, taking up so much space in your vanity, never knowing which ones to bring while traveling. But what if I told you you could get multiple looks all with one tool that is not only affordable, but delivers great results that last? I'm going to be showing you guys four different looks you can achieve with the Timo Airflow and talking about all the reasons I have fallen in love with this hot tool, so let's get started. So I'm going to be breaking down all the features of this iron while showing you guys the different looks you can achieve with it. This is a very affordable iron right at $99.99. It comes with a carrying case, which I'm always appreciative of, clips and a glove, and the fact that you can get different looks with just one tool is a complete game changer. We're gonna start off nice and easy with straightening the hair. I brought this in salon with me to use on a client who is very unruly really wild hair. I wanted to see the power of this iron on a more challenging hair type. The airflow has five heat settings ranging from 280 to 430 degrees Fahrenheit. While she does have unruly hair, it's also heavily highlighted. So I'm opting to use the iron on the fourth setting, which is 390 degrees. So it's hot enough to get the job done, but it's also not going to be so intense on her processed hair. The heat up time of the Timo Airflow is just under 60 seconds, so nice and fast. The plates are ceramic, so the heat is nice and evenly distributed through the iron, which resulted in a lovely look at the end on my client. I use this to straighten out my hair as well, and while I don't have quite as wild hair as her, I do have extensions, and the texture of those are a little more coarse than my actual hair. It worked great to get my hair looking nice and sleek. My sections were a little more thick than I would suggest if you have curly or wavy hair um, for when trying to straighten it. So I would recommend to keep your sections small in thickness if you have more difficult hair. The roundness of the outside of the iron, I love for being able to put some bend in my ends compared to a traditional iron. This is great if you like to see more movement and bend with your layers or face framing pieces. My hair was left feeling smooth and soft and most importantly, with shine from the iron, so no complaints. Moving on to curling, what I am loving about the Timo Airflow compared to other two-in-one irons is I am loving the clamp. I feel it allows for so much more control in the type of curl you're wanting to get. So if you want traditional tight curls, you can do that. If you want softer curls with those ends looking smoother, you can do that as well. The control you get with your thumb, opening that iron up as little or as much as you need is so much easier than other two-in-one irons I have used. And the best part, I mean the best. I can't believe I haven't even touched on this yet is the airflow technology that completely sets this iron apart from anything else I have used or seen. So let me break it down. The whole entire outside of the iron blows out cool air. What? Yes, you heard me right. It blows out cool air that is going to set your curls or waves into place. If you have been wondering what all those holes are on the outside of the iron, this is where the cool air blows out. If you have ever watched any of my previous blow dry videos or videos on tips on how to get your volume to hold, I always mention to use your cool shot button on your dryer. Heat is what allows for you to manipulate your hair into the shape you are wanting to see and cooling air is what's going to set that into place. So with curling hair, really the only option to be able to let your hair cool thus far has been to either pin each curl into place or let your section out and try your best not to touch or comb it through while curling the rest of your hair. So for one, who has time or desire to pin each curl? It's so annoying, I know I don't. And for two, while letting your whole hair set before combing or fingering through can look nice, you often lose that original volume you get at your roots and you don't always get as much hold with your curl. So when using the Timo Airflow to curl your hair, while the hair is getting heated up while moving through the iron, it's also getting cooled down at the same time from the outside of the iron. And when using the iron for curling or waving your hair, you're going to want to turn the airflow on first and then choose your heat setting. I also wanna make note, you only need to use the airflow when curling or waving, leave it off when you are straightening your hair with it. On myself, I use this to create both a traditional tighter curl as well as a more beachy mermaid wave. And on another client, I did a textured curl. When I use on myself for traditional curls, I opted to use the second 
highest heat, so 390 degrees. To do more of a traditional curl, you're just gonna wrap all the hair into the iron. I'm sort of going slow while wrapping, giving time to let the airflow cool, some of my section, and then letting it out. The spring that was left in the curl after taking it out of the iron, I loved. I worked through the rest of my hair in sections and I like to lightly spray each section with hairspray. Prior to using the iron, I find that that helps give a little more hold. This is especially important for stick straight hair like myself. I recommend keeping each section you put through the iron no more than an inch in size. This allows for the heat to get through the section more evenly, creating in a better curl and allowing that airflow to work just as well. I will hold each section for about 10 seconds before letting it out from the iron and set again with hairspray. I felt the airflow feature allowed the curl to stay more springy. You could feel the coolness of the section after letting it out from the iron. And once I was finished, all of my hair was completely cool everywhere, no needing to let it set in. And then I just simply ran my hands through my hair, smoothing out the curl just enough. And I loved all the fullness and body I had with these curls. So much more body at my root compared to a traditional curling iron. Even the next morning, my hair was still looking full and the curls held great. Even after brushing through my hair to get out any tangles from sleeping, it still looked full. And all I did to touch up was just curl some pieces at the top layer, finger through some and I was ready for the day. I felt my hair was left looking smooth and conditioned and it had shine and softness to it, which is a great added bonus. My client I used it on has a bit shorter hair than me and it was easy to run the iron through her hair, creating those looser textured waves. Her hair is more of a medium texture, so it's not coarse or fine. And this style of waves gave her a fun movement going through her hair. I did more of a twist and pull with her rather than the traditional movement when going for traditional waves. So as you're curling the hair, so to speak, you're always pulling down and twisting as you go. You're not wanting to wrap the ends up in the iron. That is what gives it that softer, straighter look at the ends. And last but not least with this iron, I also used it to create those fun mermaid style waves, French braid crimpy vibes. This is one of my absolute favorite ways to wear my hair, but I don't often do it because up to this point, I have always used a three prong waver and I have to let it sit on my hair so long to get it to hold the shape. And it takes me almost an hour to get it done, which I hate because that's an incredibly long time. And it also is so much heat that I'm putting on each section that is only causing damage to my hair where I I did this look in probably 20 minutes with the Timo Airflow. I'm not even exaggerating when I say the airflow from this iron is what is making these looks so easy to get and last. To get this look, you wanna really bend your iron down, letting your hair rest on that outer layer to get the cool air on it and then bending back up. Again, letting it cool the outside of each bend and just working your way down the section sort of in a rocking motion. Towards the ends, I like to do a little bit faster bend to try to keep it more straight. If you want to place your finger in each bend as you move down to help keep the shape you can, this is where the glove can come in handy. But because of that airflow, you're really not feeling the heat. Again, I got this look in an easy 20 minutes and I did it later in my week after curling my hair. So I had hairspray buildup, texture spray all on my hair and the iron still moved through my hair so effortlessly, no pulling or denting the hair at all. I absolutely loved it. I just fluffed through with my fingers and I love this look. It's big, messy and fun. I swear I was meant to be like in my 20s during the 80s so I could have big perm crazy hair. So I'm kind of getting to live out my hair dreams with this iron. Even the next morning, I still had some texture and most importantly, fullness everywhere. Having this iron is definitely going to be a game changer for me. The different heat options can meet the needs of any hair type with my hair being fine and naturally straight. The airflow that you get from this honestly it makes all the difference. I don't think I have ever been able to get that much fullness and it lasts when curling my hair. I like my hair big and full and I am so obsessed with the fact that it is giving me that. Again, it's so easy to use. It glides through the hair great. And again, it's so incredibly affordable just at that $99.99. So go ahead, empty out that drawer with all those other irons or at least you won't need as many and make room for the Timo Airflow. I think you would absolutely fall in love with it. If you have finer stick straight hair like myself, it is completely going to be a game changer for you. I will leave the link below in the description. So go ahead, check them out for yourself. I'm telling you, you will fall in love with it just as I have. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, share and subscribe and I will see you next week.